had this one guy on here once. Uh, I remember watching the clips on YouTube uh, where he was talking about like Christianity, like ancient Christianity. Yeah. Um, and he asked you uh, about. I think I think it was a clip about psychedelics. Yeah. Like Chris, but he I forgot I forgot the exact question he asked you. He was like, "Can I tell you?" He's like, "Can I tell you about?" Like the the way Christianity was, or something like that. I forgot how exact the exact question he asked you, and you said yeah, and then he kind of like yeah, and then he kind of laughed a little bit. Well, actually scared the shit out of me. If I would have wow. heard the guy laugh after he's like, can I tell you about this? And I'm like yeah, and then he laughs. I'll be like never mind, bro. I feel like he might... <laughs> <laughs> why did he laugh? He's like, what scared. are you gonna tell me? You gonna say a magic spell? What are you gonna say? He was talking about a. I don't remember all of it. I just remember he was talking about, like, that Christianity used to be kind of like a cult, and then he was saying something about they went underground with it to watch it or something. Who was that, Jamie? You know who that is? I'm, I was thinking he was talking about Brian Murray. Brian Murray probably. It could have been somebody else. But. It might have been Brian. Brian's amazing. Yeah. I mean, uh, it, was a, it was a cool episode. I mean, I learned a lot of shit about Christianity that I later forgot, but... It was, just, it was just that one the, way, the one way he asked a question that scared the shit out of me. And I was watching the clip like at 1 a.m. just chilling, you know. So I turned that off and I just turned the lights on in my room. I was like, all right, all right freaked me out a little bit. It's What's interesting about Christianity is everybody wants to know what was the first shit they wrote down. Like everybody knows like the New Testament, right, the New Testament. But then you go, what about the, what about the Old Testament? Like, ah, that's not, don't pay attention to that. Yeah, I don't really like that, that they be changing shit, you know? Give me one set of rules, leave it. Now, if you choose to follow them or not, that's on you, but don't but change shit. Even if it is the writings of Jesus, even if it is the writings of— even if all that is unadulterated, it's not been altered by human beings, it's still put together by people, written down by people. You ever uh, you ever do that and thing? And very different than the Old Testament. They— uh. I remember they did this like at Barber College once just to like teach us a lesson or some shit. I don't know. But they had this long bench and they sat down all the students and our instructor whispered a secret to the first person right. on the far right. And then Telephone they got to keep. Game. Yeah. You got to just keep whispering the secret down the line. And by the end of the line, it's a totally different sentence. Right. That shit made me never want to like check out the Bible anymore. <laughs> Yeah, the Bible was, uh, they think they it was an oral tradition for hundreds, if not a thousand years, before they ever wrote it down. God damn. That's a, yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of mix-up. Could be. Yeah, yeah, for sure people could have added some shit in there. You religious at all? Like, do you go to church or anything? You follow I, a religion? I'm not religious, but I'm not an atheist. Uh, people always say I'm an atheist. I'm not an atheist. I, I feel like I'm on something like that, you know? Like, there's something going on out there, but... Uh, I mean, I grew up, like, somewhat Catholic, like, how most Mexican Catholics are. Like, maybe you don't go to church, but you do this thing all the time. Yeah. So, like, I'm still, like, you know, like, but, yeah, there is, I don't know, man. I don't know what to believe. I do want to have a religion. I'm not going to lie. It'd but be sometimes nice if there was a good one. One I, you could, like, really lock into. Like, man, you guys are making sense. Well, I just like that people <laughs> really, like, lock into something and, like, I don't know, man. I want to, I want to, like, defend something. I want to be like, you don't speak that way about Allah. Right. But, it's a nice gang to be a part of. Right. Very aggressive gang. But I also feel like the gang I belong to, whether I like it or not, is like the comedy world. Yeah. Just make fun of everything. Yeah. That's our gang. But I think religion helps a lot of people. And I don't necessarily think it's... Oh, yeah. I think it came from somewhere. And I think there's there's like real wisdom to these stories that people wrote down thousands of years ago. But there's a lot of problems in the translations, too, because they're translating shit from like the here's a good example. The Dead Sea Scrolls is the oldest version of the Bible that they're aware of. And it's from uh, Qumran. It's these uh, it's this the, they have these like these caves and they found these big pottery vessels with scrolls in them and these scrolls they're all made of uh animal skins like that's how old they oh, are shit. that was their paper they wrote on animal skins and the, one of the ways that they figured out they had to put it all together again and a lot of it was crumpled and falling apart and so they had to do dna testing so that they could figure out okay this sample these samples are all from this cow and so we'll put these here. And it, it took them fucking years and years and years to do this. 
And after 14 years of deciphering it, there was this one guy. His name is John Marco Allegro. And he was, uh, uh, he was a, an ordained minister, but he was also agnostic. Because when he studied theology, the more he started studying it, the more he's like, wait, what the fuck is it? How come this is so much different than this? And what's the origins of these words? And where does this all come from? So this guy studies this Dead Sea Scrolls for 14 years. And then he writes a book called The Sacred Mushroom and the Cross. And he said that the whole Christian religion was really about psychedelic mushrooms and fertility rituals. That these people had hidden all of these stories in these allegories and in these tales. They'd hidden all this information on what to do and when to do it. And that all like, – it's a very, very controversial book. But that all of the – like even – You think they got it at Barnes & Nobles? I think you probably get it now. I know yeah. it got – yeah, it got republished. It, it was – I think it was bought out by the Catholic Church for a long time. And wow. then I didn't know the Catholic Church was buying out books. Like they, they didn't want this one out. Some Wolf of Wall Street shit. I don't know if that's true. I need to find out if that's true because I've said it before because someone told it to me. Dude, you say it with enough confidence, it's true. Yeah, if you say it with enough confidence, you can. But Catholic people Church will. bought out GameStop a couple years ago. <laughs> <laughs> They're responsible for Battlefield Earth. Hell yeah, man, that's crazy that they were riding on like cow skin. Yeah, that's all they had. Fucking cows, man. Cows have never had it easy on this earth, bro. Nope. Kobe nope. beef. Even when they have a good life, it's only for Kobe beef, you know what I mean? Right. Even if they have a good life, it's only like 16 years old. Um, what, what, what is it like in Japan where they really like massage them? Yeah. And feed them? They Imagine feed them being that cow just being like, damn, I've heard about cows that get slaughtered, but man, I got lucky to be born <laughs> in this life. And they're like, nope. You got slightly luckier than the other cows, but well, still a cow. The thing about cows is if you care about like suffering if you you can buy beef from a regenerative farm where that cow dies instantly lives a great life until it dies and then you'd say like no we should let them free they should be free the way they die when they're free is horrific yeah horrific yeah because they get eaten to death oh yeah right yeah, yeah. they I'm, get eaten yeah they most of them are not going to make it Who past being them? a calf mountain lions bears Wolves. If they, they bring wolves back. They've brought wolves back everywhere now. They've, wolves are in Colorado wolves now. Are back they're now. moving them in. Yeah, they're moving them in. A fat ass. I don't know. You ever heard it? The wolves are back in town. The wolves <laughs> are back in town. I think that's the boys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you know the what they are meant. Back in town, the they're going to eat your dog. They're going to kill your kids. Oh, that, oh shit. I didn't yeah. think about that. That's the little Red Riding Hood shit, man. That's all the big bad wolf. That's because in Europe, in like the 1400s or whatever the fuck they were eating people's grandmas and shit they ate everybody wolves ate people wait what what year was it 